Van Gogh's chair is a painting created in 1888 by Dutch artist Vincent van Gogh. It is currently held by the National Gallery, London. The painting shows a rustic wooden chair, with a simple woven straw seat, on a tiled floor. On the chair seat is a decorated pipe and a pouch of pipe tobacco. In the background is an onion box with Van Gogh's name on it. It has become one of Van Gogh's most iconic images, to the extent that Van Gogh's cataloger Jan Hulsker noted that, there are few pictures of Vincent's about which so much was written in later years. Van Gogh's chair is a product of the artist's tumultuous time spent with fellow painter, Paul Gauguin. Both this work and its pendant piece, Paul Gauguin's armchair are painted in complementary colors, blue and orange for Van Gogh, red and green for Gauguin. The two paintings were painted before Van Gogh cut off his ear, but continued to be refined after he was hospitalized. The contrasts between Van Gogh's chair and Paul Gauguin's armchair have led to much analysis of the symbolism of these two paintings. While Van Gogh's chair is simple and unpretentious, Gauguin's is far more lavish and ornate. This has been interpreted in light of Van Gogh and Gauguin's tempestuous relationship. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. Vincent Willem van Gogh was a Dutch post-impressionist painter who posthumously became one of the most famous and influential figures in Western art history. In a decade, he created about 2,100 artworks, including around 860 oil paintings, most of which date from the last two years of his life. They include landscapes, still lifes, portraits and self-portraits, and are characterized by bold colors and dramatic, impulsive and expressive brushwork that contributed to the foundations of modern art. Not commercially successful in his career, he struggled with severe depression and poverty, which eventually led to his suicide at age 37. Born into an upper-middle-class family, Van Gogh drew as a child and was serious, quiet, and thoughtful. As a young man, he worked as an art dealer, often traveling, but became depressed after he was transferred to London. He turned to religion and spent time as a Protestant missionary in predominantly Roman Catholic southern Belgium. He drifted in ill health and solitude before taking up painting in 1881. His younger brother Theo supported him financially, the two kept a long correspondence by letter. His early works, mostly still lifes and depictions of peasant laborers, contain few signs of the vivid color that distinguished his later work. In 1886, he moved to Paris, where he met members of the avant-garde, including Émile Bernard and Paul Gauguin, who were reacting against the Impressionist sensibility. As his work developed he created a new approach to still lifes and local landscapes. His paintings grew brighter as he developed a style that became fully realized during his stay in Arles in the south of France in 1888. During this period he broadened his subject matter to include series of olive trees, wheat fields and sunflowers. Van Gogh suffered from psychotic episodes and delusions and though he worried about his mental stability, he often neglected his physical health, did not eat properly and drank heavily. His friendship with Gauguin ended after a confrontation. With a razor when in a rage, he severed part of his own left ear. He spent time in psychiatric hospitals, including a period at Saint Remy. After he discharged himself and moved as near Paris, he came under the care of the homeopathic Dr. Paul Gachet. His depression persisted, and on 27 July 1890, Van Gogh is believed to have shot himself in the chest with a revolver, dying from his injuries two days later. Van Gogh was commercially unsuccessful during his lifetime, and he was considered a madman and a failure. As he became famous only after his suicide, he came to be seen as a misunderstood genius in the public imagination. His reputation grew in the early 20th century as elements of his style came to be incorporated by the Fauves and German Expressionists. He attained widespread critical and commercial success over the ensuing decades, and is remembered as an important but tragic painter whose troubled personality typifies the romantic ideal of the tortured artist. Today, Van Gogh's works are among the world's most expensive paintings to have ever sold, and his legacy is honored by a museum in his name, the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, which holds the world's largest collection of his paintings and drawings. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you get notified on our next upload. 
Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. If you would like to support the channel please check out our Patreon. You would also enjoy exclusive benefits like customized merches, artifacts, shoutouts, and a whole lot more. Click link in the description to join the family by subscribing to a membership. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.